Hello and welcome to another episode of Tux tutorial videos. This time it is about insertion in heaps and we start right away. The last time we covered IAM pages. Just remember an IAM page has those eight page slots for the first eight pages of a mixed extent and then we have a list of extents that uh, are allocated to our database object that the IAM pages from and remember the first extends uh, has a pointer to the first page of that extent and the second entry here would be uh, the pointer to the page the first page of the second extent and so on and so forth and since we know an extent has exactly eight pages uh, SQL Server knows to iterate those one after another so this is the IAM page and for insertions in heaps it's very crucial to know um, that we only have those IAM page as an organizational structure, we have nothing else. And that's also the way SQL Server inserts. Before we uh, understand actually how SQL Server knows where to insert our data row, um, we have to cover some more, uh, um, some more pages. So next page we want to talk about is the PFS, the page free space. A PFS covers also like the IAM 4 gigabytes of data and it has a byte array and this is uh, always one byte per page. So what the PFS basically tells us is um, if well, how occupied is a certain page. So in the, in the PFS page you can see entries from it always says page and how filled up is it. And we can distinguish between 1 to 50% filled, 51 to 80% filled. 81 to 95% filled and over 95% filled, so 90, 96 or full, uh, up until full. Um, those are only estimations, we can only say if it's in this category it's somewhere between 1 and 50, it's somewhere between 51 and so on and so forth, due to the byte that we only have to encode the state of the page. Sorry, one mistake, the PFS actually does not um, cover up to 4 gigabytes of data. This was uh, I mixed this up with the GAM and the SGAM pages. I'm sorry for this um, because of course it's on page level not an extent level so it can't handle that much of pages. So PFS pages are continuously on fixed intervals uh, in your uh, database. So next page is the GAM page. The GAM stands for global allocation map and it actually tells us whether uh, an extent is allocated uh, for the database or not. It does not distinguish for some objects like for an IAM page we have for each object we have at least one for each allocation unit so in this case we uh, don't have uh, one for each object we just have one for the whole database. And it's very simple um, you have here a list of extents so of eight pages and we have always an uh, encoding of zero and one and the one means this extent is not allocated and a zero would mean this extent is allocated, okay? It's very simple. So a similar page uh, like this is um, the SGAM, the Shared Global Allocation Map. So here we have a one in the Shared Global Allocation Map, we have a one for an extent if, it is, if this extent is shared and it has at least one free page, uh, yeah. And a zero can mean that it's not the case. That means a zero means it's either it's either uh, a uniform extent, so no shared, or it has no free space and it is a shared extent, no free page anymore. It can also be a zero then, or it is not allocated at all. Then it also gets a zero. So basically, if we're looking for single pages that are free within a shared extent already, then we can uh, take this uh, page into account. So how does SQL Server now insert your row? It's actually a very simple algorithm. Um, you have a data row and since we have no particular order in our heap and we also have no linkage between the data pages, so the next and the previous uh, pointer of the data pages is not actually used or this is not set actually, um, we just insert a row into the next possible spot and to determine to where those, this spot is, SQL Server takes into account the PFS page. It scans to find a page that holds uh, uh, approximately the amount of data I need. So if I, let's say, need 10% uh, of the row, 
um, for my insertion because my row is that big, then uh, you can uh, say that uh, PFS pages flagged with greater than 95 or 80 to 95 percent are not taken into account, and the other one, like uh, 50 to uh, 80 percent, actually, it's here 81. Um, the only those and the ones that are completely uh, almost free get into account, uh, taken into account. So since it's all very condensed on only one page, it's very easy for SQL Server um, to do the calculation since we have only eight kilobytes in, in uh, or several PFS pages in memory. It's not big, it can fit into every memory nowadays. And we don't even maybe have IO on the disk to find out where to put the page. So since PFS does not keep track of a, a specific um, object, it also takes into account the SQL Server, the IAM page to of course only take pages or extends into account that uh, are owned by the object we want to insert the data. So if it finds a page and it inserts this here, it takes the PFS and the IAM page for this. But there's also the can be the situation that there is no free space any, uh, anymore. And in this case, the SQL Server takes the GAM and the SGAM page into account to find a new extent that is not already uh, allocated. So probably here we take uh, we we want a, a not allocated one, and here we want uh, something uh, a uniform extent most likely. Then we have to look look for those kind of pages. We just allocate it, put our row in it, and then put it into the IAM structure, and that's it. So it's actually very easy. You will find out that if you do some checks uh, with uh, statistics that we, you have only a very few IO operations since you most likely only uh, have IAM and PFS page to scan. And of course, this, this is quick and fast and so on and so forth. So one um, result is that we fill up gaps, okay? We have uh, most likely uniform extents all over the place that are not completely filled up and with this strategy we fill up the gaps. So whenever we find some spot we put the data there or we put it there. Since reading the data, which is not the focus topic here, uh, will be extent, uh, extent, reading extents in, uh, in, in, the, in sequential order, we won't get the same results uh, that we get with inserting necessarily, okay? So bottom line, we have a very quick insertion. We only have to scan those four pages in worst case, where is that are 32 plus a bit of uh, PFS pages there. So not even one megabyte of data will be scanned to find out where to put the row and then we just put it. We don't actually look on, on the page whether there is free space. We rely on the PFS page that tells us about many, many, many pages um, what their state approximately is. So it's quick. But it, the, the data may not be condensed exactly. It, there are, of course, situations that happen when we don't put a row in a heap on a page, although there would be a space on it. But since we only take the PFS uh, estimation into account and not the actual size, we cannot really tell. And that's why um, we may have a higher fragmentation of the page. So as I already told you, the GAM and the SJAM pages, as well as the PFS pages, are not per object but per whole database file. So as you can see here, the uh, page zero is always the file header. Then we have here the page one of each database file is always the first PFS page. The page two is the GAM page and the page three is the SGAM page. Of course, then if you want to have a new GAM page because the full coverage of four gigabytes is already taken, then you have to follow the next pointer, uh, the next uh, pointer as well as in the, for the SGAM page. And for the PFS page, since we figured out that we have 8,088 bytes um, for savings and we have a byte array, so we can exactly cover um, those uh, those uh, 8,088 pages. As you can see here, we have one PFS page every 8,088 pages. So the first one starts at first. It's uh, responsible for the next 8,088 8, pages. And then the next one is uh, from 60,177 and so on and so forth. So every, every 8,088 pages you have in a database file, the PFS page. So that's all about inserts into heaps. Next time we will do a cover up video about insertion into clustered indexes. Please contribute uh, to share uh, and share this video to your friends and colleagues. And many thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.